Y'all know man's been rolling around without no radio for a long time. I've been using this as my stereo, but you know I put this in right now. See how it works. What is going on YouTube world? I am your brother Reza and this is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, like, subscribe, comment and all that. And today's vlog is very special because the Land Cruiser has just hit 400,000 plus miles. Bravo, bravo. And other thing, I finally found a radio that I like to go in it. So we're going to talk a little bit about both of them in this video. So let me go ahead and pull the truck out so I can show y'all the radio. All right, so before I show you all this actual radio as it is mounted in my vehicle, I've been uh, driving around with it for about uh, two weeks. So I've had plenty of time to, you know, make up my mind about how I feel about this before I did a review about it. So let's go ahead and talk about why I chose this radio. Number one, I wanted something that was very simple. As you can see, this is very, very simple. There's literally only one physical button on this radio. Check. I wanted something that was affordable. This radio right here was 200 something dollars on the Amazon machine. I'm going to put the price right about here so you can actually see how much it actually costs because I can't remember, but I know it was very affordable. And uh, features, features galore. This thing has so many features. Let's turn around to the back of it so I can show y'all real quick. Let's talk about the features real quick. The ones that really stand out, obviously Bluetooth. That's something that I really wanted because my old radio was trash. Um, USB ports for Android and charging and all that kind of stuff. That's always fun because you need that kind of stuff to charge your phone and to use CarPlay, which is another feature that this thing has. So awesome. Front and rear camera inputs. That's something that I really, really want to do with this car because I don't have any parking sensors. So it would be nice, especially when the car is really packed up, if I have those cameras. Definitely going to install that. Um, external microphone. Don't really like that so much. And a whole long list of other features that really aren't so much features, but things you typically expect out of a uh, radio. But now it is installed and it was ready to, it's ready to go. It was super easy to install it. So let's go ahead and go to the front of the car so I can show you this epic radio and how it looks inside of a 100 series Land Cruiser because if you have one of these early model Land Cruisers, I think this might be your one of your best options out there. So let's go, let's see it. All right, so let's go ahead and finally take a look at this right here that is the radio right there don't she look pretty darn decent in the land cruiser i, I don't know if it's because of this the way that the bezel is like edged like this and it's that grayish color that kind of like you know doesn't really look too off with the other uh natural tones and colors in here it doesn't look too bad for a modern radio in a land cruiser so let's go ahead and turn the car on and i can show y'all two things number one look at that mileage 400 000 miles and number two yes it just booted up and the thing did not make any popping sounds so how about that all right so here you can see it mounted in my land cruiser it takes a little bit to boot up but once it's boot up once it has booted up it is good to go i have any issues with like connectivity or any other weird stuff like that but i do see that the bluetooth just popped on so let me make sure that it's not taking over my mic so let me go ahead and turn this bluetooth on my phone off all right so some of the first things we can talk about about this radio is that installing it is super easy like i said when i was sitting in the back of the truck because it is a single den radio and a lot of y'all know that land cruisers are double den so what is going on behind this well let me turn the car off and show you and watch this i'm gonna turn it off listen no popping sound ah look at how great that is now removing the screen is so easy and it's so easy i'm going to attempt to do it with one hand because the other hand is holding the camera so all i have to do is do like this and there we go i have removed the screen and this is what's going on behind it as you can see you got my double den thing going on but i have a little storage slash compartment to hide stuff this is the microphone that plugs into this which is something that i guess i can talk about that right now i wish that the screen had a microphone built in and you didn't have to install the stupid mic because yeah you gotta install a stupid mic and i made a mistake and put it on the wrong side it should have been on this side but whatever moving on you can see that this part right here also obscures obscures 
where I cut this thing up trying to make that a toto work and um, yeah I cut the so I cut this up you know trying to fit the other radio in it didn't come out right the radio was popping it was trash and then the screen was so small on the other radio I'm so glad I went to this ginormous screen right here I kind of wish I would have went with 10 inch screen but the 9 inch screen does pretty good so when I put this in and mount it up it's very very simple it just pops on just like so like you literally cannot get this wrong it's so easy to do now the screen is also very uh, maneuverable you can tilt it towards your passenger you can tilt it towards yourself you can have it dead center you can move it down you can move it up and it doesn't shake or do anything crazy like that when you're driving I mean it's really really pretty awesome now some of y'all might be saying well doesn't it, doesn't it obstruct these buttons down here like my antenna button uh, what else is under there the clock and the clock set and those buttons right there i don't really use and if i do want to use my antenna button i can always just come right here and press it i know where it is not a big problem could i have installed the radio up higher i could have but i don't think i would have gotten enough area in the back here to completely move the viewing angle and shift it like this and like that so now let's go ahead and turn the radio back on so i can show you all a couple of other things real quick like so we're going to go ahead and turn it on like so and we're going to watch the boot sequence again now, i think you might be able to change this and uh make it into like a toyota sign or whatever you might want to make it but however comma don't quote me on that because the one thing that i don't like about this thing is that it is not very customizable in the world of customizability but this is what the menu looks like you know things that you could have access to you can just pretty much tap on and go to it for instance like tuner you Jeez. can go to tuner i'll go ahead and turn that down and it's your basic like you know tuner app um what else do we have here carplay android audio streaming usb you can play stuff from your usb oh let me actually, actually show you all that so i mounted my usb ports down here so the wire is running behind the dash and then coming out down here in the ashtray which to me was a very very cool way to hide that kind of stuff and of course if i unplug this then you can't see that they're down there anymore so yeah you can play music from your usb um you could play music from your what all your little streaming apps and stuff that you may have like uh spotify or uh sirius xm fill in the blank and uh yeah so you have your av inputs and i mean this thing just does so much in such a small package like it's literally a single den radio that's like maybe about from like here to here deep like your standard size radio and this thing literally does everything uh, the Apple CarPlay works great when you're out on the road and you can like, you know, the, the screen is just there's so much real estate on this screen that you can see your CarPlay clearly right here and then you can see your streaming music clearly right there. And I'm going to probably be having overlays of me showing this. And it's just such a what I would consider a wonderful user experience using this radio so far. Like I really can't complain too much about this radio but however comma it's not perfect and i'm going to go into the things that i don't like about it now when google maps is on you can't use the pinch function to zoom in and out of maps i don't know if google maps is and is the same in other carplay applications and other different devices but on this one it does not zoom in when you pinch so i really really hate that and i wish that they did that Something else that I uh, don't really like about this radio, and I feel like I'm really nitpicking because this is a $250 radio, so it's like you really can't complain that much. But I wish that microphone was just built in. I mean, it could be that simple. That was one advantage of the Atoto, minus everything else about the Atoto. But it did. the Atoto did have a built-in microphone, which is something that I feel like you might as well just go ahead and do. Put a high-quality built-in microphone with great sound counseling properties in it. And yeah, just roll that way. Uh, well, I'm all talking about the built-in microphone. Now, my wife says that when I call her with the built-in microphone, she can hear herself coming back to her, her audio coming back to her. Other people I've called have not had that same complaint, but I don't know. That's, you know, maybe who knows what that is. That might just be the nature of the beast. I mean, it's $250. I mean, what are we going to do? Last but not least, the last thing that I don't really like about this radio, what was it? All right. So I remember, last but not least, screen mirroring and customization. This radio is pretty locked down. It's not super customizable. I mean, I'm sure you can probably hack it really easy and do whatever kind of crazy mods you want to do to it but i don't have the time or patience to do all that but i just wish out of the box it had screen mirroring you know you so you could stream youtube and stream music and stuff directly to it and movies and just you know watch them on not you watch them but your kids watch them 
on the screen so those are the things that i really don't like about this radio but outside of that i mean i could not have like created in my own brain a radio that is like so simple one button just this will look good in an old car like this or in a new car it's just perfect in my opinion or about as good as it gets for the uh price that you pay oh one last thing because i was just looking up here in the corner it does not have a quote-unquote dark mode but it can do this so that's good enough right um so this is the part of the video that is going to end talking about the boss bc p a9 and now we're going to talk about the land cruiser and it hitting 400,000 miles and everything that you know i have been talking about on this channel concerning land cruisers now watch this i'm going to turn the radio off and it's not going to pop one two three hey all right so having two land cruisers there's so much that i can always say about this like i know y'all have seen other vlogs where we think about selling this land cruiser or selling that land cruiser but at the end of the day it's like after I get over the excitement of driving one of my friend's cars or driving someone's rental or whatever it may be and be like, oh my God, I want a G-Wagon. Oh my God, I want to go buy another 911. All the cars that I've owned before, when I get into this Land Cruiser especially, there's just something about this car that I don't, I'm not sure if it's nostalgia. I'm not sure if it's like... I really don't even know how to quantify what it is about this car that I love because it's not the most pretty thing out there. It's not the most fast car out there. I mean, and it's it's ancient. It doesn't have all the, like the creature comforts that modern cars have. But this thing is like, I mean, the reliability factor is just insanely high. The price of the parts are so cheap. The maintenance is so reasonable. Like Every time I go buy a part for this car, which is few and far between versus everything else I've owned, my Mercs and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff, the people are like, oh my God, it's going to cost X amount. And I'm like, man, wow, that is like so much cheaper than Porsche. So it's like, like I mean, the only thing I've done to this car so far has been the fuel pump. Literally, that's like the only thing that I've had to replace on this car. Now that it's hit 400,000 miles under my toolage and I got under it the other day and changed the oil and did some other maintenance on it. It's going to need some front end stuff, some CV axles and some other like rubber bits. And then um, what else is it going to need? Brake pads, but you know, wear items and stuff like that. But outside of that, it's just so easy and like perfect for a city like mine. Now, this one right here, when we go and take this one on road trips and everything, it's just so comfortable. Like we've driven this thing to Miami like, God, maybe five or six times already now. And you can still literally see the bugs from the last road trip. But when we take this thing out on the open road, it's just such a good and comfortable car. And outside of it burning so much fuel, I can't really see myself in making a wise decision to buy another gas powered car. Our next movement is definitely going to be to electric. Like... I don't even see the point of me going to buy a really expensive, really nice gas powered car, period, point blank. I think that Land Cruiser 2 and Land Cruiser 1, right there, oh, I almost fell down, are probably going to be my last gas vehicles. So these things are sticking around. Got to find another set of wheels for this one because I kind of want to go in a different direction with this one. But outside of that, these cars will be around for a very long time, knock on wood. I'm your brother Reza. This is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, that radio, pretty legit if you have an old 100 series. I mean, I love it. So, see y'all in the next vlog. Peace.